Kangaroo is kangaroo. I am I. If I tell you there's a kangaroo inside me, you won't believe me, will you? I can't believe it myself. When I saw a kangaroo jumping along with a baby in its pouch, I thought, how many ridiculous animals there are in the world. Of course, I also went leaping here and there breathlessly with a baby on my back. But that doesn't mean there's a kangaroo inside me, does it? I saw a kangaroo boxing on TV. If the man hit out with his right hand, the kangaroo used its right hand to hit. If he used his left hand, it struck back with the left hand, hitting, being hit, hitting, being hit. There was no difference between man and kangaroo. If I happened to meet a kangaroo by chance during a trip to Australia or New Zealand, I might well hold out a forepaw, hoping for a handshake in spite of myself. I tend to keep worrying unnecessarily about all sorts of things, such as what a kangaroo will do if its pouch fills with rain, and I worry about my children's future. Once the TV showed a kangaroo drowning, having jumped into the water to save its baby that had fallen into the sea. After trying to estimate the weight of the water in the pouch and the baby's weight, that night in my dreams I floundered in the water. Kangaroo is kangaroo, I am I. But if I get an attack of the kangaroos like this in the middle of the night, I can't get back to sleep sometimes. Kangaroos are said to dig a hole in the ground and then do nothing with the hole. I too dig holes for no purpose and then do nothing with them. Kangaroo is kangaroo. I am I.